This patient um, is uh, uh, presented with uh, double vision and problems with dizziness, sent for MRI of the brain, found to have metastasis in the brain, treated with radiation for two weeks on steroids now. At the same time, CAT scan of the chest so shows multiple uh, lymph uh, adenopathy with right upper lobe mass. The purpose of the procedure today is to get tissue as much as we can. Uh, staging in this particular case is not indicated because it's already met to the brain, but we'll find out what is the tumor from and which lymph node has the most concentration of cancer cells so they can run more tests in case molecular studies needed if that turned to be adenocarcinoma. Pushing the endobronchial under the carina between the upper lobe and the lower lobe on the left side and then look at the endobronchial and you can see a large lymph node there so 11L yes 11L transverse axis is uh, 9.7 millimeters you are on the left main stem again you see the left upper and the left lower. You thumb down at 12 o'clock, you see the pulmonary artery back up and then look for a lymph node at that location between the pulmonary artery and the aorta. And here very clearly you can see there is a small lymph node. 4L is 3.3 due to the size this lymph node will not be sampled. Trachea, you see the main carina. You go from the right side, touching the carina, going down, and looking for a lymph node. Clearly, you can see now here the lymph node, the left, atri left atrium pulsating below it. Station 7, 8.1. Finding the right upper lobe at 12 o'clock, you thumb down and touch the wall, come back and look and you can see it very clearly at this area. The SVC is below the lymph node and the lymph node for our measuring 8.6 millimeter which is the 11R. You look at the right upper lobe and the bronchus intermediates below it. Right main stem again, right upper lobe, right bronchus intermediates. And below that area, as you see the swelling over there, you can measure the 11R lymph node. Measuring with the shortest axis, 15.1 millimeter. 11R, 15.1 millimeter, you can capture. Looking for the sheath. When you see the sheath, you lock it. Set up your depth. Now, you identify your lymph node in the ultrasound. You try to put it on the left side of the screen so your needle will go in that angle inside the lymph node. You see the needle now inside the lymph node. You pull it. First sample, we do it with capillary action to prevent much blood in the core. Sometimes you'll be able to see the core port in the needle as in this section and you made sure that you are inside the lymph node while you're doing that. You can do the fan, fanning technique too by pulling the needle to the proximal part, changing your thumb and then sample another area in the lymph node. Then you pull the needle back
Between the samples, it's better to make sure that you maintain your endobronchial view to make sure that when you put your needle and you see the sheath coming out of the bronchoscopy. It's important to protect your bronchoscopy from puncturing by the needle by seeing that sheath coming out. And it will save you a lot of time if you maintain the view all the time so you don't waste time cleaning the scope when you put the needle in. You can see clearly at 12 o'clock the left upper lobe and the 6 o'clock is the left lower lobe and your target lymph node is in the carina between these two lobes. Needle is in. You can see the teeth in the endobronchial view. You set up your depth. And you go down, find your target, put it in the left side of the screen, in the endobronchial ultrasound view, and you go with the needle that area and you find your needle on the ultrasound very clearly you see the shadow of the needle inside the shadow of the lymph node and you sample edge to edge you don't have to do it jabbing or the most important you maintain the distance from both edges of the lymph node to guarantee getting the maximum sample. Now we are sampling still 11L. This will be with suction for cell block. We sample by containing the needle with three fingers and moving it in and out with another two. That will guarantee that you're holding and controlling the needle. And even if you are unlock the needle by any chance, you're still protecting the scope from dislodging the needle inside the working channel. As you see now in the endobronchial ultrasound, you have an appulsating organ under the lymph node that match the left atrium anatomically, and that's where the importance of identifying those borders of the lymph node so you don't overpass the needle toward that chamber of the heart. The needle now, station 7, subcarinal, will do the slow pull while I'm sampling. Nina, I will ask you to pull this slowly. Yeah, slowly, start slowly, slowly, slow. That's enough, thank you. Yep. Slow pull might give you more sample by sampling while you're pulling it back and that will go for the first slide for station 7 subcarinal nodal station you can inflate your balloon at the uh, scope but not up to level that you might lose your view such in this situation when you inflate the balloon too much you might lose completely the view and you don't know where you're going even there's chance that you might puncture your balloon with the needle so you put it at least covering the lower third or 20% of your view in the lower part. Sheath is in, in the scope, and you see it, it's on the right side of the screen. The balloon in the lower part of the screen. We're going in the subcarinal area, uh, finding the lymph node. And now we are ready to go. You can s ask assistant to hold the scope at this position and you push your needle and you see it inside the lymph node.
Now we'll do it with suction for cell block. You can leave it, yeah. Thank you. The sample, as you see, is from edge to edge and containing most of the diameter or the width of the lymph node. You can go to the proximal, change your thumb angle and sample another area and get more samples from different location uh, from the same lymph node. Station 7. The patient presented with uh, uh, dizziness and vision problems that mandate uh, an MRI that shows metastatic disease to the brain, CT chest shows lymph adenopathy with right upper lobe mass. Uh, we start with lymph uh, node sampling with EBUS starting from the left side 11L, four samples done, subcranial four samples done to EBUS CBNA and also we did the 11R four samples. Uh, uh, when we got the preliminary result, we found adenocarcinoma from the station 7 subcarinal, and we focused getting more samples for molecular studies. That's confirmed by the on site cytological evaluation. And patient is stage 4 due to the metastasis, so most likely he will go for a systematic dis uh, treatment with chemotherapy and possible radiation. Good.